Hopes the giant Port Stanvac oil refinery jetty could one day be used by the public have been dashed, with Mobile and the government announcing the southern suburbs landmark will be demolished. Live now to Elise Baker at O'Sullivan Beach. And Elise, the decision has disappointed a few. Yeah, that's right, Brent. And where I'm standing right now is about as close as the general public can get to the jetty, at least by land. And it's cl as close as they ever will get after today's announcement that the jetty will be demolished. The future of the Port Stanvac Wharf has been an uncertain one ever since the mobile refinery there closed 12 years ago. But today, news, it's got to go. It's old, it's expensive, it's not safe and there's no industry, industrial use for it. Despite a strong public push to save the 40-year-old jetty for use by recreational fishers and tourists, the oil giant and the government say they've come up with a compromise. Mobile will spend $5.7 million to upgrade the foreshore area, making it safe for the community to access within seven years. There'll be a nice groin area, a little beach area, boats will be able to come in, divers, um, it'll be accessible by foot and by boat and it'll be a nice asset for the local community. The wharf is three times the size of the Glenelg jetty and the government says that's too high and too far out to sea to be used safely by the community. But those campaigning to keep it say a chance to grow economic activity in the area has been lost. There's no reason they couldn't have retained part of it. Like, you know, Henley, Glenelg uh, and Brighton all have one thing in common. They have a jetty based on a square. This was a significant opportunity but reaction from locals is mixed. I'd love to be able to fish off that jetty. I've always wanted to, but you're not even allowed to go near it. It's an eyesore. Uh, there's great capacity to, to develop that site into a, a public area. Work on the foreshore revamp is expected to begin next year. As for the rest of the 600-acre refinery side, that will likely take 10 years to remediate and then it will be made available for industrial or residential use.